Today, it's Texas Tech and Stephen F. Austin. And now, with all the pregame analysis from the best, this is KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff. Sponsored by Terry County Tractor. I thought he handled himself. He competed. He made plays um, outside the pocket. Um, obviously, there's some mistakes that um, we've got to correct and some of our tempo stuff with his eyes and get him in the right spot. But altogether, I thought it was a good first start, and, and he knows that we've got a lot of room for improvement. So obviously, Sonny can be impressed with what he saw from Tyler Shuck in his first start in the red and black. And with that, we're going to go to board games yeah. because we have a perfect kind of move in from here. You know, we'll play the board games. There we go. The graphics up. And now, Tyler Shuck. So he had three touchdowns in the first game. So we here at Red Raider Nation are always pushing for more, pushing for better. So the question is, will we have at least four touchdowns four in the game against SCF? I know, against the team at the SFA. <laughs> yes. SFA. Stephen F. Austin. Y-E-S. Yes, he yeah. will go. Yeah. Any reason for that or just? Uh, well, I mentioned it earlier. You're averaging at least 58 points against this team historically. I think the offense gets it out. He needs to do it in the first half. I'll put it that way. It might be. It might be. It could be one of those yeah. situations. You hope, as a Red Raider fan, it's one of those situations where he plays that first series of the third quarter, and then you get another people yeah. some work, right? I'm gonna go with no for that reason. I really think this is a team that knows what it's good at, and through game one, what they're good at is running the football. He so for that reason, he could still run one in. That's he, one. What that's one. Saw? But <laughs> yeah, and, I'm, and the only other reason is gonna because they're gonna try to establish the run. And I yep. don't really think SFA is going to make them pass. They're going to allow the run to kind of go right through them. So it's yep. not really going to force okay. Tyler Shuck to pass the ball you, at all. You can be wrong. That's fine. Okay. Oh, weird. Uh, okay. Second straight <laughs> game. We didn't run a whole thing about it. But second straight game where it's kind of a revenge game of sorts. Yeah. Against Houston, yeah. you had Keyshawn Cardi, you had Tazon Henry, you had Alex Hogan. Against SFA, you have former Texas Tech running back, Daly on Ward. So, okay. With that in mind, Tazon Henry had... 22 yards total. 24 receiving yards, negative two rushing yards. Will Davion Ward top that performance? Over under 22. Uh, yards just total yards? 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 Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. That's tough. I think he, he had 15 yards yeah. in the last game. He's basically like the third running back. Yeah. We mentioned the transfer from Hawaii. They have their leading rusher from last year. I just threw my eraser on the yeah. floor. Um, it's such a tough decision. I'm going to go with. I, I'm going to go with yes. Yeah. Purely I, from the fact that, like, he shouldn't. Everything is telling me that he won't. Yeah. But I really think, much like we didn't see Taze on Henry on the two deep for Houston at all, mm -hmm. but it felt almost like Dana forced the ball into his hands a little bit yeah. just because it was just against his hope. former yeah. team. And so I think, especially if this game becomes a blowout, especially in the second half, I think we can see, we the could third see him string, out there. The third yeah. string running back get in there yep. and get no, some touches. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, last one headline. Yeah, I had to start writing because my Sharpie's going away here. Or my. Uh, you guys both had your dad jokes earlier. This is this is just a topical one. Go ahead. Oh, you hey, got... Brooksy. We, we have our SMU grad in here, so I'm going to go with a golf topical oh, okay. yeah. meme and headline. Uh, I think Taj Brooks is the story again. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll force Roderick Thompson back, especially if they don't have to, so I think Brooks will have another big game. Well, I said that Tyler Shuck was going to have at least one rushing touchdown in this game, and I'm going to go with Chuck Diesel. Chuck Diesel, instead of Shaq That's Diesel. Good. That's good. I, like I had to get one. Shaq worked in here somehow, some yeah, way, shape, DJ or Diesel. We asked him to be on the show, but didn't hear back. No, actually, we did not. He we said, did ask he said, for Xavier he said Gibson, only, but didn't he get said, He said he would have been starstruck by the whole. Yeah, Un so understandably so. We don't, we don't work with people that are more than uh, six or seven inches taller. Than yeah, us listen, we, we don't need to all stand we've up. Got a, we've got rules around here. <laughs> exactly. All right. Stick around. When I return, I'll be here with Eric, and I'll be here with Phil. <laughs> And I'll give you what to watch for. They might as Apparently well. Apparently only Collar's coming back. Speaking, I'm coming back. But right now we're going to give it to Ron Roberts. Ron actually stuck around tonight. He's going to tell us about the weather tomorrow at Jones Stadium. Ron, how you doing? No I in team. Uh, Texas Tech and Stephen F. Austin playing a football game in the heat for sure. Temperatures at kickoff in the middle 90s. Remember tailgating. It's going to be toasty with temperatures at forecast into the middle to upper 90s for a high. By halftime, temperatures in the upper 80s. After the game, about 83 degrees for that kickoff at 6 o'clock with the Red Raiders to wreck them. 